Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Skateboard B, and in this game, I am Bardock Lives. This is Dragon um, Fury Fighter, and I am from Server 52, and well, it's Christmas. And on the last video, I had a question of who is the strongest characters in this game. So that's what this video is going to be about, of me explaining which characters are the top and which are the low tiers. And, um... A quick tip, uh, I save diamonds and I farm just as well as also paying. For instance, I made this video also to update my team. And currently, this is them. Bum -ba -dum. Anyways, uh, I, I am so stoked. I didn't think they would come out with this in a billion years. But here it is, my Goku Ultra Instinct. Uh, he, he honestly is um, like... Honestly, like, one of the best characters I have favorited. And here you can see my VIP level, right? It's VIP 14, and I have them. There's some people who are all the way at VIP 18. It's not a bad thing, but, man, it takes a lot of money to get there. And, well, some of them, some of the people who got there don't have the champions they want. Um, I saved in a, and basically spent at the right time when I wanted to, and, bam, look, got high rewards. And um, that's what the point of this video is about. It's about top tier characters. And the way, and the way that I basically uh, got these is literally by um, doing most of the farming and trying to be um, of, of farming that I made in another video. Basically repeated that till I saved enough diamonds and boom, got my champions. Anyways... If you go to the main menu in the bottom left of your screen, there'll be a warrior tab. And here you can check how much debris certain warriors need, uh, what their abilities are, and what class type they are. Um, for instance, Majin Vegeta is going to be released soon. Good news for other people who are big fans of that character. And he is a credit 17 god, so he would be in the top tier of the new characters coming out. Um, now, what I mean by these 17 credit gods, or you can call them champions, or you can call them characters, whatever you want, I just say them out of habit. Now, on the, bottom, on the top right, you'll see credit 17, and on the bottom left, you will see Goku Ultra Instinct, um, and you will see a little icon of shield. That means he is a tank. And um and he is seventeen in the top tier of the of the characters and what that credit seventeen means is that it's in its own league. Um, let me for example, let me go to Goku level four, right? And Goku level four has credit sixteen, so he's not um at that at the seventeen level. In fact, you can even look at the CR difference sometimes and look i'm just a five star with goku and he's three and look at look at the cr difference between him and goku level four but you see on the bottom left of goku super saiyan 4 you'll see again the the icon of a fist that means he's a fighting style so he does more damage but the crazy thing about goku he has these crazy tank um abilities with him a better example of me showing this or uh, getting my point across is Jiren. Jiren, 16 credit. If you if you max level this guy, he is so tanky. Hence, look at the bottom left. See the the icon of the shield next to his name, which says Jiren. That means it's a tank type. Now, if you go all the way to the bottom, and we go to the other Jiren, Jiren, serious stance. Here you will see he's a 17 credit. If you level this all the way, yes, he will be stronger than the 16 credit. But compare him to the other 17 gods or the other 17 champions in this game. Jiren is squishier than the level 16 credit version of Jiren because that Jiren is a complete tank. While if you look at this one, bottom left, what is that? A fighting style icon. And there you go. That's how you can relatively tell who's the difference, who's the top player. I know what I'm relatively talking about. I'm not the best. But if you look at my rankings after they fused in three servers, um, 
and knock me back down to the 20s, I have moved up in certain other areas. And what I mean by 20 is in the arena PvP, I got knocked to the 20s, but with me upgrading, I came back to the 11th spot. This helps me get diamonds every day, um, and this helps me save up for important events that come up so I can maybe get some drops or some extra things. Anyways, um, I wish you guys nothing but luck. Uh, this game is really fun, and again, it's for farmers and chill players who like to take their time and not have one thing um, just over a night. It's like Clash of Clans, and if you pay, they give you great rewards, um, and that's why it can get addicting. Anyways, uh, thank you for your time and wish you nothing but luck, and I do have friends who have not paid and got high level, so there's no excuse. Get out there.